Hey, what's up, YouTube viewers and betanews.com readers? Brian Fajoli here with an unboxing. And I don't remember the last time I've been very excited about such a, a basic brown box, but today that's exactly what I'm excited about, this box here. Uh, as you can see in the front, it's from System76, uh, which is a computer manufacturer and seller. Um, they sell laptops and desktops and all-in-ones that feature one OS, Ubuntu. Yes, so rather than a Windows machine, you're getting a Linux machine, you know, a machine with a Linux distribution preloaded. In this case, it's Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, I thought this was pretty cool. On the side of the box, it says, unleash your potential, dot, 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 and it says, open the box. So, in other words, inside this box, you get the power to unleash your potential. Very, very cool. So, I took the, uh, the liberty of cutting the tape earlier, but it actually still sticking a bit. Okay. So, this is actually how it ships from the manufacturer. It came actually, this is actually the box. Ooh. That's a fun design. Oh, wow. Now, a lot of, obviously, a lot of thought has gone into this. Uh, let me try to adjust the camera here. System 76 has put a lot of thought into the box. See, it's a, this is actually really neat. So, the outside of the box is just a plain brown box, but the inside it has this really cool um, design. It's like a space design that almost looks hand drawn as if. Um, hidden inside the brown box is imagination and wonder and everything. It's, it's actually really cool. Uh, so let's keep on with the unboxing here. So on top, we have just a piece of styrofoam. Put that to the side. Also in the box, well, let's see. So this is another protective piece of styrofoam. Inside the box is the computer itself, but I'll put that to the side for right now. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, Styrofoam, more styrofoam. Tilt it. The, now that the computer is out of the box, I'm going to tilt it. Ooh. This is a Visa mount, V E S A. So this looks like you can mount the Meerkat computer, which is what this is the Meerkat computer to a monitor, as long as it has the Visa ports in the back. Okay. All right, so now that the box is empty, I'm going to put that to the side. And let's take a look here. So we have our Visa mount there. Let's see what else we have on the inside. We have, I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. This is actually pretty neat. So inside the box are all these different international adapters. So we have a power plug that, as you can see here, has no prongs on it. So I live in the United States, so let's see how this works. I'm guessing this comes out. All right, so this is like a dummy piece here, right? This is a dummy piece of plastic. And you can put in all these different inserts if you live in Europe or, you know, whatever country you live in, they use these different um, connectors. I live in the United States, um, so I'm going to use the U.S. connector. Slide that in. And now that's in nice and tight. So now this would just plug into my normal... Um, normal outlet. So let's see what it says on the side. Um, output 19 volt 3.43 amp 65 watt max. Made in China. Okay. Take a look here. Safety mark. Um, anything else worth reading? That's interested. interesting. It says, imported by Intel on the side. Hmm, very cool. And, put that to the side. What else do we have? We have these screws. Now, this package of screws likely just goes with this Visa mount, so you can mount the computer on the back of your monitor. But, enough about the accessories and the little things that come in the box, the screws and everything. Let's look at the star of the show, Something I've been extremely excited about. It is System 76's Meerkat. That is a full desktop computer. Yes, that is the entire computer. That is the desktop. So this particular computer has a Broadwell processor, has 8 gigs of RAM, 
and let's look at the front. So on the front, we have uh, two USB 3.0 ports. The yellow, I believe, indicates that it's a charging port, meaning that even with the computer off, um, you can charge devices off of it. I believe I have that right. Um, so if you have, let's say, a smartphone that you want to charge using USB, um, this will charge even with the computer off. Um, on the front, we have a headphone uh Let's see, headphone, mic, slash uh, audio out. So you can use this to connect uh, a headset if you want to, let's say, um, Skype or use other services using a microphone and headset. Or if you just want to output some music, uh, you can connect some speakers or some headphones and listen to some tunes. On the side is just a vent. On this side, we have a vent, and we also have a Kensington lock port. Um, so if you wanted to, let's say, mount, um, you know, put this on your desk, let's say. Um, let's say your kid was going to college and you wanted to give them this tiny little computer um, for doing all their schoolwork. Um, they can get a Kensington lock and put this around, you know, this, a hole in their desk or something to secure it. Uh, but let's take a look at the back. This is where things really start getting exciting. So on the back, we have two more USB 3.0 ports. We have an HDMI output uh, port, and we have a display uh, port. Now, this is mini display port. I believe this is mini HDMI, not micro. This is a mini HDMI port. Um, for for the most part, you know, a lot of people are moving more towards display port, um, but with different adapters, you could use both. So let's say you had two HDMI monitors, you could plug it in using the HDMI port. But you could also get an adapter um, display port to HDMI and hook up two HDMI monitors, uh, and vice versa. You can hook up a display port monitor using HDMI. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, Ethernet, so a gigabit uh, LAN port on the back, and the power port. Let's look at the top. So on the top, we see uh, the Se uh, System76 logo, which is actually really cool. Um, there's a video online. Uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, if I can find the video. Uh, but System76 put something up showing how the, um, the the logo was like laser cut into the design. It's actually really cool. Um, I dig that a lot. Um, okay, let's see in the bottom. So on the bottom... We have, it says System76, model Meerkat, version Mir1, date of manufacture, it says January 2015. Uh, let's see. Okay, front, rear. Now, if you look, the feet have screws in them, and I'm guessing that you undo the screws in order to access the inside of the computer. And I really wasn't planning on this. Let me see if I have a screwdriver. If I have a screwdriver handy, maybe I'll go ahead and open. Oh, I do. Maybe we'll go ahead and open it up and see what the inside of this computer looks like. I hate to, <laughs> I hate to start opening up a computer before I even get a chance to use it, but hey. We're going to be reviewing this for betanews.com and upgradeability and the insides, those are all important things. Now, the, the feet, I could be wrong here, they don't feel like they come out entirely. So, it might be a cool design where you just loosen the screws and maybe the top comes off. Let's see. I don't, I don't feel anything getting loose yet. Now, it's also important to remember that. Um, this is the System76 Meerkat is like a rebadge, which is which is fine. It's a rebadge of Intel's uh, NUC or NUC, uh, I believe is Next Unit Computing. It's Intel's you know small, um, small desktop computer design, where you're getting really good specs in a small little computer. Okay. Okay. Does the bottom come off? Hopefully I don't break the Meerkat before I get to try it. Let's see. Uh, this last screw here is a little install. There we go. Ooh. All right. Interesting. So on the inside, what is that? Let's see. Oh, uh, okay. This is actually a really cool design. Awesome. Okay. So... On the inside, 
we have eight gigs of RAM. So they actually use Crucial RAM, which is really cool. With System seventy six. Now they could use um, less expensive RAM to save money. There's actually quality RAM in here. Now that may vary by each purchase. So not every machine might have Crucial RAM. They might use other brands as well. Um, but it's nice to see that they use quality RAM in here. Also in here is a um, M.2 uh, solid state drive uh, from Transcend. Now what's cool about this too is it's very upgradable. So right here you can you can swap out you can swap out the M2 SSD and you could also upgrade the RAM. So in this case, it's eight gigs of RAM. But you could easily put 16 gigs in here if you wanted to. Now, what I also really find cool, let me move this back a little bit, is this blue port here. It's a single serial ATA port, which goes into the base, which is actually a hard drive dock. So let me see if I can, I think I actually have a spare drive. Bear with me one moment here. Yes, I have a vector OCZ uh, drive so let's see so big and small so the idea is I would slide this in snap it into place and now even though there's a 32 gigabyte um, SSD M.2 on the inside I also now just added a 500 gig solid state drive to the computer so, what does that mean? Well, the M.2 drive is what has the OS on it. That's what it has Ubuntu on it. However, with this SSD now loaded in the computer, I can use that for storage, 500 gigabytes of storage. Or, this might seem like sacrilege, but you could install Windows on the um, 2.5-inch drive and do a dual boot. Now, I prefer this method of dual boot uh, instead of um, partitioning hard drives. It's just easier to access the BIOS and then choose the hard drive that you want. That's that's my preference. Um, but in this case, it's a System76 computer. Uh, so I'm going to put the focus on Ubuntu, of course. Um, but maybe for the review purpose, um, we'll try putting um, Windows 8 on the Transcend drive and see how that runs. Now, the cool thing is, uh, this is all Intel hardware, so it's very Linux-friendly, and it's also very Windows-friendly. It's easy to get drivers. Um, everything should work out of the box with, with Linux. Obviously, it does, because System76 is shipping this with Ubuntu, but also, um, it, it should work flawlessly with Windows, and dare I say it, you may even be able to get a Hackintosh running on this machine. Um, let's see... Now, just to show you to scale, I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of how big this is. Let's see. Okay, here's a flat. This is a flash drive. So, the computer next to a flash drive. It's it's. I mean, the flash drive is almost as long as as the computer. So, take another look at the inside in case you guys want to check it out. So it's an Intel Nook, essentially, and you see, um, now what else is in there? Now, I'm just looking for different connectivity ports. On the inside, I also see a, you can see here, let's see, you guys can see. Up here, there's a little beige connector. It actually says USB, but I'm not familiar with that type of a port. It's nothing I've really ever seen before. Uh, let's see, what else are we looking for? I'm also looking for, so this is the transcend. The Wi-Fi card must be underneath. I see antennas, so the antennas go to the top of the machine. Um, so the Wi-Fi is not easily accessible, uh, I believe, unless you uh, were to remove the um, computer from the entire chassis. Uh, which you shouldn't need to do. It's got 802.11 AC by Intel, which is really great, um, really great Wi-Fi. So there you go, Brian Fajoli with betanews.com with a unboxing of the System76 Meerkat, but also a look at the inside um, to look at the upgradability. And as you can see, it's a huge thumbs up because not only can you easily upgrade the RAM, not only can you easily update the M.2 SSD, uh, you can also add a 2.5-inch hard drive uh, or a solid-state drive. So let's say you had a 2-terabyte 
um, HDD, you could throw that in this uh, little thing here, put, you know, screw it back together. Um, it, it's, it's really, really great for upgradability. And it also has four USB 3.0 ports. So there's a lot of, a lot of different options here. Um, so we will be reviewing this for betanews.com. I'm extremely excited about this. Um, it comes out of the box, I should say as well, with a Core i3 Broadwell processor, um, and it also has um, Ubuntu 15.04, I believe, um, preloaded 64-bit, uh, um, so we're going to give that a try. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments of the video. Um, I'll, I'll definitely answer any questions that I can. Um, now that I'm done with the unboxing and this video, I can actually start playing with it, and that's what I'm really looking forward to. So I have a I have a monitor ready to go, keyboard, mouse. Uh, this is going to be a really fun test, and I'm really looking forward to reviewing this. So thumbs up to System76 for such an upgradable machine, uh, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.